everyone, let's talk about two books today. Virgin Soul by Judy Juanita and How to Be Black by Baratunde Sursten. Let's start with Virgin Soul. This is a book I had trouble getting into. I started it months ago and it's the story of Janice who finishes high school and goes on to college. So this book is focusing on her college years and every single college year separates the parts of the book. And it's in the late 60s, so we get her college experience there. Now, in the beginning, when I started the book, we got to meet Janice and learn about her and her growing up. And she's an orphan and was raised by her family. And she's a very dark black person. And in the beginning, I had problems getting into how she kept describing everyone in different colors all the time. It just got me confused. Like, what kind of shade of brown, black, yellow, the different names they call each other and how she struggled with everything as being such a dark black person and all the anger that was in her. I was just, it was frustratingly exhausting to read it. And I really struggled with it. But then I started listening to How To Be Black and I got a different perspective on things. How To Be Black is sort of a comedy book that gives you instructions on how to be black in America, what to do and what you can expect and the rules you need to follow. But it's also a book about growing up a black person in America, what it is, what it feels like and the things you experience. And that expanded my understanding of the whole thing that I don't have any clue of, let's be honest, that I could go back to reading Virgin Soul with a different perspective on Janice and her character. I understood her anger more. I understood more where everyone else was coming from. So I could focus a little bit more on the story. The story is how she starts college and then gets sucked into the panther movement. Now, there's a lot of violence, there's a lot of drugs, a lot of sex and a lot of stress and everything. And I don't mind that. I didn't find it overly interesting and I didn't still get into the book really. I finished it, but I struggled throughout the book, partly because I still didn't like Janice. And I admit that at the beginning, her ignorance and anger and naivety annoyed me most. And I like that you see through the book how she learns, how she grows, how she definitely sheds a lot of her ignorance, a lot of her anger and a lot of her naivety for knowledge and improves her own character. I like that. But she also did a lot of things where I was like, why are you doing this? Why do you let people treat you like this? And I didn't like that. And towards the end, I discovered another thing that made it very hard for me to read this book. It was the way it was written. The sentences felt choppy and I couldn't get into the writing. And it was a lot of times how she talked that the narration, when it wasn't dialogue, was also. And it wasn't really nice to read for me. So that, all of that made it very hard to read the book. On the other side, this is a very informative book. You can see and learn a lot about the time in the 60s, how it was to be part of the Panthers and how it was to be in that movement and in the middle of everything in Oakland and Berkeley and with the Black Panther movement and the riots. And so you get a lot of insight. So that is really well portrayed in this book, I think. A few more words to how to be black. Apart from helping me get a different perspective on Virgin Soul, the book itself is super interesting. It's not only a guideline on how to be black in a comical way. It's also about Baratunde Thurston's life, like how we grew up, how we got educated, his work life and the people he met and the experiences he had. But we also get other people's voices. He calls them the black panel. It's a group of people he asked questions to the topics he wrote about and to find out their experiences to these. And especially listening to the audiobook was very nice because you could hear the other people's original voices. He interviewed them to write the book and recorded that so you can hear the original recordings. And that was very nice. And I thought this book was very educational, informative, while being funny and entertaining at the same time. And I really like that because he's never talking down to you. He's trying to help you learn things, to understand things. I would definitely recommend How to Be Black to anyone. And I also recommend the audiobook because it is very well produced, very well done and enjoyable. And I challenge you not to laugh out loud while you're listening to it. If you find my review of these two books a little bit vague and unhelpful, I'll link the videos that made me buy each book 
in the description. And now it's your turn. Tell me if you've read the books, if you are interested, if you've heard about them. Let's talk books. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.